do you know about Korea? This program is a time for you to learn and understand the mysterious traditional culture of Korea. From now, you'll be able to find out the most scientific and plus the most Korean-like moment. First of all, we'll introduce the Korean traditional martial art Taekyeon, which has a history of 2,000 years. Okay then, Let's find out what kind of martial art Taekyeon is. Taekyeon boasts a long history that it appeared on the paintings in a Korean ancient mural tomb constructed in the 5th century. It is written in the history book Goryosa, compiled in the 15th century, that the king ordered the soldiers to have a Taekyeon competition and awarded the winner with a highly coveted government position. At the time, Taekyeon was very popular, and it was usual for competitions to be held between villages on big holidays or other celebration days. Through the efforts of Master Shin Han Sung, who is a student of the famous Taekyeon master Song Dok Gi, it was possible to continue and develop Taekyeon until today. Later, Master Shin Han Sung perfectly organized all of Taekyeon and for the rest of his life trained next generation apprentices in Chungju City, which lies in the middle province of Korea. The biggest characteristic of Taekyeon is that the movements are very soft and delicate. The graceful movements of curvature can be likened to a form of dance rather than a martial art. Taekyeon has brilliant foot technique, so a lot of people highly praise Taekyeon as an art of foot. Taekyeon is a hand-to-hand -hand combat focused mostly on attacking skills. Most other martial arts have changed into category sports and are aimed at winning a competition. Taekyeon still possesses the traditional spirit of a martial art of oppressing an opponent. Therefore, it is attack-oriented and violent. Taekyeon has developed a sophisticated technique of attacking an opponent at close range. The advantage is that it can be used in any situation. the Chungju Taekyeon Training Center, which is known as the Mecca of the Korean Taekyeon. If you come to this place, you'll be able to see every small details of Taekyeon. Now, starting from today, for three weeks, we'll be learning the Korean traditional shamanism Taekyeon, our first series. In 1983, Taekyeon was chosen as intangible cultural treasure number 76. The intangible cultural treasures are a system to continue and develop the cultural treasures which have great historical or artistic importance under the protection of the government. So Taekyeon is a martial art of great cultural value in Korea. The Grandmaster Kyung Kyung Hwa who is carrying on the Korean Taekyeon is a student of the master Shin Han Sung and is the one and only human cultural asset of Korea. Hello. How are you? Yes. This is Yeon Rebek who came from Norway. He has been studying Taekwondo for 10 years and he came to Korea to study the Korean shamanism. Pleasure to yeah. meet you. Yeah, yeah, as you said, I came to Korea to learn about Korean culture and traditions and language. So since I learned Taekwondo for some years, I'm now very curious to learn about the differences between Taekwondo and Taekwondo. The motions in Taekwondo are very stiff and straightforward, and Taekwondo is a martial art which has changed into a sport. 
But Taekyeon is a traditional martial art which has been brought down to today by our ancestors. Taekyeon has an advantage to attack and block with motions which are soft and curvaceous. Taekyeon is a traditional martial art which especially emphasizes mental culture and etiquette. There are a lot of standard positions in Taekyeon. Among those, today, we will be learning Pumbebki. Pumbebki is a stepping motion which is the most standard form in Taekyeon. Pumbalgi is a motion to step Wonpum, Chwapum, and Upum consecutively. In Wonpum, from a bado position, you move your right foot shoulder width apart. Chwapum is a form in which you bring your left foot a half step forward from the center of your body. Upum is a motion to move your right foot a half step forward from the center of your body. Always remember the center of your body should be on your back foot. Your front foot should be pointing straight forward and the back foot must point at a 45 degree angle. Since we have seen the demonstration, let's follow the Grand Master and learn Pumbaki. In a one pum position, you bring one foot forward after another. The weight should be in the back and the front foot should be straight forward. The back foot should be at a 45 degree angle. Always keep your knees bent. <laughs> When I learned Tekken, I thought it was difficult because you need a special rhythm in your body. Like, and if you can't get this special rhythm and fluently techniques, you can't do the techniques properly. There are about a hundred different standard positions in Taekyeon and it will take at least seven or eight years to be able to do all those techniques. Well, I'll wrap up for today and starting from our next lesson, we will pick out a couple of important techniques out of Taekyeon's 12 madang and learn them. You could expect a lot from our next lesson. Well, take care and see you next time. Bye.